Well, we had some pretty good flakes of snow coming down here throughout the afternoon hours in the FM area, coating our sidewalks, our roads and vehicles with a light dusting of snow. Hey, it's, uh, well, Luther Family Ford Weather Kid Night, and Avery Eller joins me all the way from the Ada Borup School District. Come on out here, Avery. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How old are you, young lady? Ten. Ten. And what grade are you in? Four. Now, in fourth grade, do you have a favorite subject to study? Is it math? Math. Oh, math. Good. I like math. Good. And you said you also like the recess and the, the gym? Yes. Those are fun as well. All right. And somebody you want to say hi to before we get started? Hi, Mrs. Costi. <laughs> Give Mrs. Costi a very big wave and step over here by Hutch now and tell me a little bit about that weather outside. First and foremost, point out the temperature in Fargo. What is that temperature? 13? Yes. Yeah, and what does this uh, tell us about the weather outside? It's snowing. A little light snow, and how fast is the wind blowing today? 22 miles per hour. Excellent job, Avery. And if it's blowing 22 miles per hour, would you suggest people use one or two pumps of hairspray? Two pumps. Yeah, definitely a little extra today. All right, why don't you look out to the west and point out where it's the coldest and what towns have the coldest weather? You see the cold weather up here? All those threes? Can you reach up that way? Let's try to point all the way up by Canada. Langdon, Cavalier, and also Devil's Lake all have three degrees. A little warmer to the south where we have some teens. Now let's turn our attention out to Minnesota. And why don't you point out what town has the warmest weather right now? What town is that? Do you know? Bemidji. Bemidji? Bemidji. Bemidji's 21. They're the warm spot right now. Now, what is this? Describe to everybody what you see on this map. The gray spot is clouds. Good. The blue, the light blue is snow. The dark blue is actually heavy snow. Very good. So that's how we tell with the colors on the radar where the light snow is and where the heavier snow is. Take one step back towards Hutch and tell me a little bit here about what towns are seeing some snowflakes right now. Can you read those? It up. Good. A little bit of snow moving through and the dark blue is, as you so aptly mentioned, is a little bit heavier snowflakes. We also have some snow that's exiting down towards South Dakota in the Britain, South Dakota area. Now we have other colors for other types of precipitation. What's the green? Do you remember? Um, rain. A lot of rain along the southeastern United States. Here's our forecast. The clouds move south and the cold air moves in. Temperatures will be below zero tonight in the far north. Then if we sneak over this way, Avery, and point back to uh, the east, we can see north winds will be blowing as we go to bed tonight. And that's going to kind of pull this Canadian air southward. Do you see our temperatures go down? Uh, how cold do they get first thing in the morning? Pick out one or two places and just tell, tell us. In Fargo, Yep, M minus five. Minus five. Good, you did it. Now, and what about this number way here, like Langdon? Minus? Minus 19. Now, is that cold? Yes. That's super chilly. That You're going to need a big jacket for that with wind chills that are going to be ridiculous up there. Probably 35 to 40 below first thing in the morning at the bus stop up near Canada. Canada. Now, does it look cloudy in Fargo or does it look sunny with the grays on here? It actually looks cloudy and sunny. Right, a little bit more sunny up here where the temperatures are cold. And at lunchtime tomorrow, we're still pretty chilly out there with temperatures around zero. And then after school on your Friday, does it look like a good evening to get out and play a little basketball? No. No, not at all. Five below zero in Grand Forks and five above zero in Detroit Lakes. A few more clouds, but they're moving towards Minneapolis. So those might be getting out of here for the weekend. Tell your schoolmates what they can expect for the morning bus stop tomorrow for the Ada Borup area. Clouds cool. At minus? Minus seven. Good. Wind in 13 miles per hour. Power. Good. How about after school? <laughs> Some sunny cool, minus three, wind nine Good. miles per hour. Excellent work. You're, you're doing great. Now let's talk about other towns. It's going to be coldest up near Devil's Lake. <laughs> A little warmer down here, but nobody's hot. Even out towards Bemidji. What's Bemidji's temperature right above your eight. head? It's eight. Okay, now here's a beautiful photo of the sunrise. This was in the uh, uh, Dearborn Township. Thanks, Lori, for sharing your photo. Here's the seven-day planner. Now, on Saturday, watch out. What's the temperature going to do then? 
18. 18, so we get warmer. That'll feel pretty nice. We're near 20 on Sunday as well, but we could have a few flakes of snow if you're driving south or toward the cities. Now, what does this say for Monday and Tuesday? What does this mean, you think? Snowy. Little chance of some snow. Okay. Temperatures near 20. That's not too bad. Now, Hutch has this highlighted in red. That means we better watch the weather on Wednesday because we have some snow coming. We have some wind, wind. coming. And then look what temperatures do as we go into Thursday. Back up by Hutch here. Woo! Falling down to near zero. Yeah. All right, Avery, follow me. You did so awesome. And I can tell that you kind of like studying a little bit about the science and the numbers. I can tell you like your math. Good job. Yeah, excellent job. So was that easy or was that hard? Easy. Yeah, easy. Good. Don't tell don't tell everybody in <laughs> Adaborg that did. Hutch's job is easy. <laughs> yeah. You did kind of just tell everybody. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. That's right. okay.